Hello everybody, I am Suhaina Sultan. I am going to talk about SWOT analysis. I will explain you what is SWOT analysis as the session proceeds. For example, you are going to a new place and uh, there is you and one of your friend along with you. There, if I tell you to go and explore the city, it will be very difficult for you if I don't tell you the details very clearly or if I don't give it to you in writing. At the same time, if you, if for you and your friend, I am giving you a plan, I am giving you a sheet of paper as to what to do in the morning, in the afternoon, where to go, where to eat, where to stay, everything written in a very detailed format on a sheet of paper, that becomes easier for you, right? Yes. So the same thing is what is SWOT analysis. Basically, it is an overall evaluation of your life on a sheet of paper, as simple as that. So what does SWOT analysis mean? What is exactly SWOT? So S stands for strengths, W stands for weakness, O stands for opportunities and T stands for threat. Well, strength is, it is anything that puts you at an advantage over others. Okay, if you are highly skilled at writing very fastly, that is an advantage in itself. Okay, any simple strengths or to complex strengths like uh, you can run faster or uh, you are good at multitasking, doing many things at the same time, that is itself a strength. So any strength like that, that puts you at an advantage over others is called a strength in SWOT. The next one is weakness. What is weakness? Weakness is anything that puts you at a disadvantage over others, meaning if you are always doing things at the last minute, if you are late, all these are quite in weakness and that might put you at a lower edge compared to your friends. That is weakness. So anything that puts you at a disadvantage over others is called as weakness. The next one is opportunities. Opportunities are basically anything around you that you can use it for your own support or for your own betterment, for your own growth, that is opportunity. For example, if you want to apply for a job interview, what are the best opportunities that you can have your friends support, your parents support and preparing for the entrance exam if there is any and uh, enrolling for any classes. All these are opportunities that you can use for your advantage. The next, the last one in SWOT is threat. T stands for threat and threat is anything around you that might harm you in your growth that is threat basically so s stands for strength w stands for weakness o stands for opportunities and t stands for threat right now for example i'll explain it to you in terms of job uh, how you can use swot analysis for yourself while applying for a job you have your dream job that you really really want and you think this job will take you to a higher place. It's the job that you really want. It has a good timing, it has a good pay, it is near to your house, you have your friends working there and it is something that you're very passionate about. When you have such a job at hand, you really wouldn't want to leave that, right? So likewise, when you want to apply for a job interview, okay, what do you do? Most of the times what, do, what we do is, we have a goal, but we don't know how to go about it. That happens. Even for me, it happens. It had happened a lot of times. I have a very strong goal, but that just remains there. I will not know how to proceed beyond that. So when you have a goal, you have to follow that and you have to make that happen. You have, your goal is to get selected in that job and you really want that job and you have no idea what to do. Everyone will tell you, do this, do that, do this, do that. But what after that? You will not know and you will write everything on a sheet of paper, but that's here and there. So with SWOT analysis, it becomes very, very easier for you. The task is very simple. Take a sheet of paper, draw four columns, write strength, weakness, opportunities and threat. And then you have your main goal at hand. For example, if you want to get selected in a particular company, right? So you know what skill is needed for that particular company. So in that case, write down your strength. Consider this, you have finished engineering and you really, really want this job and Infosys as a technical support. You know the job's description, you know what are the qualities that you must have to get the job there. You know the job demands like the working hour, 
the pay, the environment, everything, you know it better. So you want to get this job and you have this really strong goal of getting that job. But there is something in between that is missing, that is a proper plan. By doing a SWOT analysis on yourself, you make it really very easier for you. Right, I'll explain how to go about it. So you take a sheet of paper, draw four columns. The first one will be strength. In there, write what are your strengths? What are you really good at with respect to the job? Okay, or in general, you can write what you're really, really good at. Okay, what are some things that you are more talented than the rest of your friends? Right, there'll be something, I am sure there'll be something that you are good at than your friends. And then uh, you have to write about various sources of support that you have. Who can you ask for help? How can you ask for help? What are different things that you need to refer to get the job that you want? In the first block, you write your strengths. Right? Anything that you're really good at. Can, it can be anything. Whatever you're really good at compared to your friends. What are your biggest strengths that can help you achieve that job, the dream job? All that you write in the first column. In the second column, it is the weakness. Weakness, as I had explained before, that is anything that puts you at a disadvantage over your friends or over other people who are applying for the same job. It could be laziness, it could be procrastination, that is doing things in the last minute and uh, not being on time uh, and uh, having poor scores, having poor grades or not having the necessary computer skills and uh, and having your house at a very far place uh, uh, than the job location. Anything, any small, small things that can interfere with your chances of getting a job it has to be in the second block that is the weakness or if you have any financial constraints like not having any financial support not having parental support or um, or any difficulty with respect to the job has to be in the second block in the third block opportunities you have to cover how to overcome things from the second block Right? where you can ask for help. If you have to apply for a loan to study a course and then get the job, how to go about it? Who you have to ask for help? And uh, any financial support that how you can get. If you have to do a part-time job, what are the part-time jobs available in your area that, that can fund you financially? Right? All that has to be in this third block. And in the last block, it is threat. Anything that can affect the first block and the sec third block, strengths and opportunity has to be in the fourth block that is threat what uh, you have to write what changes you need to do so that you can achieve your goal and anything that interferes with your goal and with your dream job and you has to be in the last block so when you write all this what happens when you write all this Trust me, it becomes very, very easier for you. You have everything on a sheet of paper and you have your goal. And there's nothing that can stop you in between. You know what you're really, really good at. And that's the best part of SWOT analysis because you will be working from your strengths. Okay? You know what you're really good at. You know your weakness and that is it. That is like half the job done. A lot of us do not know what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. So when you have everything on a sheet of paper and you know it by heart because you have done it yourself. So and then you have your dream job, right? So when you know your strengths, when you know your weaknesses and when you know how best you can make use of the available situation and, and you have your dream job, that is the best part. So you have your dream job, you want to apply it and you go about working it, working for the dream job from your strengths point of view. You work from things that you are really good at and then you eliminate or you're more conscious of things that you're not really good at. If you're not punctual, you make sure that next time for the job interview or for the preparation, you are on time and you allocate particular duration for preparation. Everything is clearly planned out with SWOT analysis. So when you do SWOT analysis, it is basically like spoon feeding. You have everything written on a sheet of paper to take you to your dream job. Trust me, SWOT analysis is a very, very um, helpful pro assignment that you can do it on yourself to get something that you really want. 
it need not necessarily be for a job interview it can also be uh, to take up a project can you take up this project that your company has given you based on your strength based on your opportunities that that you have so even for that or even for applying for a new college or for a new course anything that life can challenge you you can do a swot analysis and better clarity and a more precise more clear idea as to what you want and how best you can do it so when you do a swot analysis so you have your strengths you have your weakness you have your opportunities and you have various threats listed on a sheet of paper and you have your ideal goal with you and there's nothing that can stop you it becomes very very easier for you than aimlessly just roaming around knowing what to do what not to do and asking for a lot of help and not doing anything at the end instead if you do a swot analysis it's there on a sheet of paper and you are more clear and you know what exactly to do so uh, consider doing one swot analysis for yourself for the next job or for the next assignment that is given to you and you will know the difference before and after a swot analysis thank you